Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Now Kaylee has an inspirational story on how local business owners turned a tragedy into a thriving business. That's right. These Ozarks locals built their woodworking business out of tragedy, but it turns out it's just what they needed. Check this out. We made um, two little pallet signs with like five dollars in lumber. My dad's 20 year old drill, a discounted saw that we got at Harbor Freight. Um, and then sold those and then posted it on Marketplace and it just kind of took off from there. And a business was born. If we take a pallet sign that's kind of like a coffee table top, so we can just add some legs and some bracing and um, it's just continued to kind of snowball from there. The first big hit, Yardsy. In the summer of 2016, we sold over 700 sets. And from there, an Etsy account that shipped out their products to over 40 states. California, New York, Washington, Florida. So we've gone pretty much everywhere. It's crazy. I would have never <laughs> expected that it would have gone, you know, within our like five state region. But for this do it themselves duo. And in case you're wondering, Heather's only got me at the Brad Miller twice. The woodworking business was never really in the works. I have my degree in psychology and sociology, and then she has her degree in sociology and criminal justice. And when tragedy struck in 2015, woodworking was their escape. She has epithelio, hermangio, endothelioma. I was the 51st person in the world to be diagnosed with the type of cancer that I had in the spine. Brittany's mobility was limited. I was paralyzed from the waist down at that time. The physical therapy was long. I had a lot of progress made from uh, my radiation treatment and lots of physical therapy. But the necessary tools to overcome the obstacles went beyond hammers and nails. That's where my beautiful fight kind of started is taking that really negative time and trying to make it something more positive. For Beautiful Fight Woodworking, the glue that sticks all the farmhouse furniture together is the fight itself. Grab something and wipe yourself. Do something that is good for your mental health and your spirit and keeps you going. Perfect. Um, and just hold on to hope. I think that's the biggest thing that even in our personal daily life that we deal with is just the hope for change, the hope for better. Um, so don't give up and just be open and go for it. I mean, don't have much to lose. Just take the risk. Yeah. Now, Brittany is in remission, so that's great news, but pain is still a constant factor in her mobility day-to-day -day life. Oh, she has to deal with that on yeah. a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. that's um, too bad. It is. Yeah, and the life expectancy is pretty short, is pretty low um, for that type of cancer that she has. Which is so rare. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking this went right along with my Positively Kelly. A really hard time for her when she was diagnosed and found that out. And then she couldn't get around, so she used her skills to do something that she was good at. Right. And it actually turned into something, but to turn something negative into something positive. Right. And they told me, too, that they never, ever would have dreamed that they would have ever had a woodworking business. They, mm -hmm. they said maybe a woodworking project here and there just for around the house, but... You know, whenever the spark hit and whenever they started getting a lot more orders, mm -hmm. um, and it started out local too, a lot of local orders, mm -hmm. um, something clicked and then they just started something from the ground. Do you think they I could teach that. me? If I go back and do another yeah. story, I just want to learn some skills because I love yeah. woodworking uh -huh. and that I want to just learn from them because well, it's amazing. It's amazing that they both could do that. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. They have a few other workers too, but they said that every time they hire new workers, it's like, the demand goes higher too. So there's no like, it doesn't necessarily quicken any of the oh, processes. Right. I see yeah. what you're saying. Um, the wait time's still like six to eight weeks for yeah. a. Because it's all piece. handmade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, I love so the amazing. style. I do too. Yeah. It's a, like, it wasn't called farmhouse furniture. Beautiful fight woodworking. Yes, I love beautiful that. Beautiful fight. Yeah, farmhouse is, furniture. Is that where they got from the situation? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And fight. that's the thing is you gotta fight and you can't give up. Right. No, and, and she, like she said, um, hope. I mean, my goodness, think about mm -hmm. it. Without hope, right. where would we be? Exactly. We have to have you got to have something to keep you going. Absolutely. They also do some uh, community. Uh, they tie in the community. They work with other organizations. Sometimes it's uh, a beer factory. What do they call those? Brewery. 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 There you <laughs> yes, go. <okay. laughs> um, sometimes they work with those. They have worked with those in the past, and they, they bring in people, um, or you can buy a seat or something, like 25 people are allowed, and then they create like a beer stein holder, and then it also had like a shot glass holder on the side too, so they, they change it up constantly. But they have these little events across the Ozarks where you can kind of make your own stuff. So did you ask them, do they, they do special orders if you have something? Yes, they yeah. do custom orders. Um, 
you'll, it'll probably be a little oh, more sure. pricey. Oh, I'm sure. They're yeah. already, everything's in demand. They've got a lot of things. But they already have a lot of stuff that um, was listed, you probably saw on their Etsy website. Yeah. So they make all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily custom, but yeah. you can customize yeah. it. Absolutely. Well, that takes a lot to organize. I had an Etsy account back in the day. Did and you? it's like, I mean, you sell some stuff and then you have to do the shipping yourself. You know, there's just a lot. It's, a it's lot. like a, it's, it's your, a real it really job. is a business. Yeah. yeah. What were it, you selling? Oh my gosh. Anything and everything. Really? You know, I crochet. Yes. So Do I would, you really? Yes. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Your grandma taught you. My that. grandmother taught me. Yeah, I would crochet items and sell those on Etsy I would for like, extra money. I would like a hat. Oh, I used to make the cutest. I'm not kidding you. I'll show you pictures. <laughs> you know the things that girls wear? They go right here and then they button oh, yeah. behind. It keeps yeah. your ears mm -hmm. warm. Yeah. I would make decorative ones with flowers. I crochet okay. separate flowers and put oh, them how on. Nice. And I sold them to my friends in Branson, performers who wanted them for rehearsals. Jeremy, I can't imagine you now having time to sit and crochet. That just sounds so foreign. You know when I would crochet? I'm not even kidding you. Where, at night when you got home? When I was doing Cassandra Haygood show. Oh, when in you were in between. In between numbers. Yeah. So I would change clothes in between numbers. I'd be crocheting, go out and <laughs> sing a song, come back backstage, crochet. <laughs> that is That's awesome. awesome. Can you teach us? I want to learn how to crochet. I would totally teach you. Yeah. Are you do you have any interest, Kaylee? No. Uh, it just seems too time consuming. It does. But you know what though? If you yeah. look at it as therapy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And alone time yeah. and almost like a zen time yeah. to just focus. Yeah. You have quiet and it's you and the yarn. Yeah. yeah. I should write a book or a song. You and the yarn. <laughs> you and the yarn. You and the yarn against the world. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to make? Myself a cake? Emotional? <laughs> you know, I made my favorite thing I've ever made. What? High school graduation. Mm -hmm. my you best made friend... your own cap and gown? <laughs> It was, no. it was interesting. Kaylee, yeah. Kaylee. So my best friend Lori, I'm still good friends with her. Our birthdays are one week apart, and we still call each other on our birthdays every single year, and it's been quite a few years. For her graduation present, I made her an Afghan, crocheted it, with her name in it. Oh my goodness. So her name Lori is in, in the Afghan, and she so still has it. That would be so hard to do. She still has it. All right, oh you're, we'll have a session. You'll, you'll teach us yes. how to crochet. All right, coming up, it's a very special edition of Who Wants to Be a Dollar Nair. It's the football edition. Things are going to get competitive. They're going to get crazy up yes. in here. Yes. We'll be back. How long did that take you? A long time. A long time.